Hi guys, welcome sa Zip9. In this video ay itutuloy natin yung series natin on number problems, no? So, uh, this is the sixth video in our number word problem series, no? So, sagutan ulit natin yung uh, dalawang problems. Uh, the sum of two consecutive odd integers is 48. What is the larger number? So, pag sinabi natin consecutive odd, um, ibig sabihin, magkakasunod ng odd. So, for example, nagsimula tayo sa 15. 15 is an odd, odd number. Ano yung susunod? 17, di ba? Tapos, 19. Tapos, 21. So, paano natin nakuha yung 17 using the first number? So, this is 15 plus 2, di ba? So, nagdagdag tayo ng dalawa each time. So, this is 15 plus, yung 15 plus 2 dito na 17, nag plus 2 ulit tayo. So, plus 4 na siya. Tapos yung 21, ganun din. Yung 19, uh, nag-add tayo ng 2, which means that yung 15, wag add tayo ng 6. So, yung reference number natin palagi yung una. Kasi yun yung x natin. Just like yung number 11 here. So, sa number 11, if we let x be the smaller number, smaller integer, then, yung susunod natin na integer, the next integer or the larger, is x plus 2, no? Kasi nagdagdag tayo ng 2, eh. So, x plus 2. So, this is the larger, larger integer. Okay? And their sum is 48. So, pag inad natin silang dalawa, that equals 48. No? So, 2x, dalawang x, and then plus 2 equals 48. And then, para matanggal natin yung 2, we subtract 2 from both sides. So, 2x, 2x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 48 minus 2. So, yung 2 minus 2 dito magiging 0. 2x plus 0 is just 2x. And yung nasa right hand side natin ay 46. Which means that our, uh, that x is, pag divide natin yung, ng 2 yung both sides. Which means that our, which means that x is equal to 23. So 46 divided by 2 is equal to 23. Meaning, um, yung first integer natin ay, or yung smaller integer natin ay 23. At yung larger integer natin ay, 25. So, consecutive ba sila? Yes. Anong sum nila? 48, di ba? So, uh, tama tayo. Pero natama natin, what is the larger number? Ito mas malaki yung 25. So, our answer is 25. So, ano napapansin nyo? Yung add saka even, pareho, no? Na x tapos x plus 2. So, dalawa palagi yung nadagdag dun sa number. Okay, let's have the second problem. We have the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 141. And what is the smallest integer? So, ganun din, x is the, the first integer or the smallest. Tapos, x plus 2. No? Parang dito, x plus 2. Second integer. Second number. Tapos, x plus 4. No? Parang dito, x plus 4. So, third integer. Which means that if we add all these, so x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is equal to 141. So, ilang x yan? Tatlong x plus 6 is 141. Okay? So, subtract x from both sides. Sub subtract 6, sorry, from both sides. So that's 141 minus 6. So, magiging 3x is 135. And if we divide both sides by 3, para matanggal yung 3, no? Saan so, na matira? That's 135 divided by 3. Ano ang 135 divided by 3? 135 divided by 3, that's 4. That's 12. 15. 
Is it 45? Yes, 5 and 3 is 15, 0. Okay, so, yun yung pinakamaliit. Actually, yun yung pinakasagot, no? So, 45. Ang sumunod ay 47. Sumunod ay 49 kasi. 45 plus 2, tapos ito 45 plus 4. Kagaya dito. Okay, so, uh, let's check. Consecutive naman siya. Tapos dapat ang sum nito ay 141. So, double check natin. 45, 47, tsaka 49. So, that's this is 12. This is uh, 21. Carry 2. This is uh, 12 plus 2, 14. So, 141. Okay, pero ano yung tinatanong? Lagi natin tignan kung uh, yung question, no? kung ano ba talaga yung tinatanong kasi mamaya yung sagot pala natin. Uh, yung unang sagot pala natin, hindi pala yun. So, since pina ang kinukuha ay yung smallest integer, the answer is 45. Okay, so that's it. Sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video na to. I'll see you in the next tutorial.